Hi, I'm Louisa Sidrabath, a liquidator and a bankruptcy trustee. One of the questions that I'm sometimes asked is what happens to someone's superannuation when they go through bankruptcy? The answer to this is that they can usually retain it as long as it's a regulated fund, which most public offer funds and most self-managed superannuation funds are. If you're not sure if your superannuation fund is a regulated fund or not, you can look it up at Superfund Lookup. So Google the word Superfund Lookup and you'll find the government tool there that can help you work this out. An exception to when somebody can't retain their super is if they've made large out of character contributions in the recent years before their bankruptcy. As an example, sometimes as, re as someone's researching bankruptcy, they'll work out that they might um, lose their family home if they declare bankruptcy. So what they think is I'll sell my family home and put all that money that I get into my superannuation because that's a protected asset in bankruptcy. So if that were to happen, the funds that would be the proceeds from the sale of the house wouldn't be protected and the person going through bankruptcy wouldn't be able to keep that amount in their superannuation fund because it is a large out of character contribution and has probably been made for the purposes of defeating creditors, which isn't okay under bankruptcy laws. If it's someone's regular contributions to super through their employer or even their own regular contributions, that's usually something that they can retain through the bankruptcy and after as well. Another question I'm commonly asked is what happens when someone wants to withdraw money from their superannuation um, partway through their bankruptcy? So if the withdrawal is done as a lump sum withdrawal, then uh, they're allowed to retain all of that money. It doesn't get lost to their bankrupt estate and it doesn't count as income towards something called income contributions in bankruptcy. Um, somebody may also choose to withdraw money as a pension throughout their bankruptcy. They're allowed to ret uh, retain those pension payments, but the pension amounts do count towards income for the purposes of calculating income contributions. So that summarizes what happens with superannuation in bankruptcy.